Hello everybody, my name is Art and welcome to a new channel called Celluloid Journey. In this channel we're going to explore movies that Art enjoys, hates, questions, and other fun stuff. So I'm hoping you'll join me. Uh, my first video and what spawned this channel was I did a post on three movies that I can never watch again on my other YouTube channel and I'll have a uh, link in the description box below to that one. And it, that's been my most popular video on my other channel uh, far out doing other uh, content to this point. So I decided, well, I'm gonna do a separate channel just on film and everything I enjoy. And what I'm hoping is you will join me in this, You know, talk to me about what I like, what you like, and we go from there. Uh, so first video coming and we will see you later. Movie number one is the 2009 Disney Pixar film Up. It's the story of Carl, a elderly gentleman, very curmudgeon, who finally decides to take his long-awaited trip to Fair Paradise Falls in South America by a very unusual means. Now, the reason I can't watch this movie anymore is the 15-minute prologue at the start of the picture. We go through Carl's life with his first meeting, ultimately his wife, Ellie, and their life and how they want to save for this trip to Paradise Falls. And every time they get close to making the money they need, something happens in their life that they have to raid their savings. I know about this because I've been there a few times. And eventually, Ellie passes on. Uh, it was very sad. I cried in the first 15 minutes, and I'm amazed I even got through the whole picture. Uh, but a lot of this is it parallels my life to a tremendous degree, and that is why I can't watch this movie anymore, although it was a very good movie. So number three on my list is up. The second movie is another Disney feature, this time under the Marvel banner, it's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 that came out last summer. Uh, this deals with the final adventure of the Guardians team and their battle against the, a new enemy called the High Evolutionary. Uh, the bulk of this movie, and I cried several times through this one, uh, had to do with the backstory of Rocket Raccoon and how he came about and his in his adventures and a lot of it was really sad james gunn i hate you for this uh it was it was very tugging at my heartstrings um, but it was a good it was probably the best marvel movie that came out last year of the of the few that did come out so i can recommend watching it but bring a box of kleenex with you and the final movie is Ah! 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 The 1959 classic, The Manster. Tell you the truth, the only time I've seen this movie was when I was 12 years old. It's been over 50 years, and I have not been able to watch it again. This is a story of a New York newspaper reporter who travels to Japan to interview a scientist, and he's, of course, one of these mad scientists who unwittingly gets our reporter involved in some genetic manipulation, and our reporter gradually becomes the manster. And when the scene I just showed you popped up, it freaked me out to all hell. I screamed, I cried again. This is my third crying picture. And I had to turn the TV off for about 20 minutes. I eventually turned it back on and watched the rest of the movie, but not without a few nightmares after that. So those are my three movies I can never watch again. If you would, please hit the subscribe button below. And also too, in the comments, tell me what's your one movie that you've seen once and can never watch again. And why is that? I'd love to know. Until next time, have fun.